Welcome to the studio, it's Froyal here. I'm so glad you've joined me. It's week 11 of 100 days of collage and we're in the colour spectrum. <laughs> Today we're working with yellow. It's usually a challenge for me, yellow, but I bust out the jelly plate. I have a whole lot of fun. It turned out much better than I expected. And I'm going to show you one of my secret techniques for creating absolutely fabulous shapes on the gel plate. Hope you're gonna join me. Today we're creating fabulous collage using multiple textured papers inspired by my recent trip to China. Okay, let's make some yellow jelly prints. I've got yellow oxide, Naples yellow, we definitely need some white, some unbleached titanium and some gold. Let's give that a go. Basically, I'm just going to throw it all on the plate <laughs> and hope for the best. Oops. <laughs> What could possibly go wrong? Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at all that glorious yellow. <laughs> yellow, yellow, yellow. You know, Vincent loved yellow. I don't know why I struggle with it so much. Should we take a plain background print first? I think so. Now I have some of the fabulous rice paper. I also have some wet strength tissue. And I'm just going to pull a few prints, maybe some backgrounds, and we'll have a little play. Look at that, beautiful. I like the splotchy marks. I like the abstract patterns on it. I really like that look. I like the texture. Was it the Naples yellow? It didn't want to blend properly, but you know, I also didn't spend a lot of time blending it because I really do like that kind of, ooh, gold abstract look to it so you guys just got to do you if you like it more blended then blend it in i personally like it to have all the shape and texture and be far more abstract because that's just what i prefer but if you like your jelly prints with the colors all blended you do you baby yay let's do one on my fabulous wet strength tissue and we'll do a couple of backgrounds and then I think I should give you a demo of the ink blot because I'm probably going to use that a lot through this series with the colour spectrum because I have some really cool jelly prints that I'm loving. So I'll give you a quick little demo on how I create those fabulous textures. Oh, look at that. That's just beautiful. There you go. Glorious, glorious yellow. Yay. Now, what I would normally do is wait for the backgrounds, of course, to dry before I put the ink blot texture on it. But, you know, oh man, I'm not much for a waiting mood today. <laughs> Look at all that fabulous texture. So I'm just going to show you anyway, because those backgrounds are going to take too long. It's a little overcast in beautiful New Zealand. Basically, I just do this. It's an ink blot. I really like the Liquitex soft body acrylic because it comes with this fabulous applicator. It's fluid, as you can see, it's so darn easy to squeeze on. Basically, that's what I do. And then I take the print. But like I said, usually the, I'm putting it onto a dry background, but this time we're doing the background and the print all at once, because why not? We can scribble the paint onto the gel plate and push on a piece of paper, just like an ink blot. And you'll find the most amazing patterns. Look at that. That is just absolutely beautiful. Now that's how I did the piece with the orange and the black mark on it. I know it looks very Chinese, but it's not. It's exactly done like this. This is the technique. I love it. I pull a whole heap at once. I do go a little crazy. The thing is because your scribble mark is such a thick amount of paint, you can take two and mostly three prints from the fabulous mark, especially if you've got already painted jelly prints, you can just put the mark over 
Uh, it's fabulous. Each time it looks a little different because you're pulling off a different amount of paint. I love it. It's one of my favourite mark making techniques. I've been going a little crazy with it recently and it works really well for this week's Chinese influence inspired collages because it could be anything, right? Look how beautiful that is. And that's the second pull. So, whoops, that's a little crooked. <laughs> so I can pull another print from the plate. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then we're going to use one of these in the next yellow page of our color spectrum. Yippee. Right, so I printed off a whole heap of beautiful yellow prints and they turned out much better than I expected. This was one of the first prints I took with just the plain solid background and then I threw a black scribble onto the gel plate and took an ink blot. Looks amazing, right? And then the ghost prints look absolutely amazing. In fact, they all look better than I expected. <laughs> so now I'm thinking, what about if I did that? with this beautiful paper that I've been using for my collage and I've just torn it into three different sections from what I had left. What about if I put an ink blot on that? What do you think? What do you think, right? It can only not work. Let's give it a go. Now the first one is always a little thicker because it has the most paint. You've got to try and get um, thin lines on it I have found personally because it gets squished into an ink blot it's kind of better to have thinner lines but oh, that's easier said than done I have found you just kind of have to go fast and when it gets to the bottom of the bottle it's actually a lot harder but we'll try that we're gonna put it onto this beautiful section and let's hope we don't wreck it <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> right, it can only not work, what the heck. <laughs> like I said, the first print is always the thickest and it gets thinner with each pull and the ghost prints are really amazing. But you gotta try. Oh baby, yes, loving it. How good does that look? That looks awesome with the beautiful Chinese writing behind the print and the glorious stamps there on the side. Yes, loving that. That's working. That's working. That looks fabulous. But what you can do now is look at your print and go, oh, I like that shape. Of course, you know it's in reverse. But what if we added a few dots of white along this section here? Then the next print will have that extra bit in it. And let's see how that looks. We have this piece here. We want to not print any further than that because we like the red stamps. And we'll see how we go. Like I said, each consecutive print gets a little lighter because there's less paint that comes up. But you can actually find some incredible surprises along the way with this technique. I'm loving it right now. Yes, as you can tell, I'm totally obsessed with it. <laughs> Look at that. That looks fabulous. Absolutely beautiful. So now this design's got the extra white dots on and that looks just as glorious. So now I can let that dry and then run some paint over that and pull that print, which is what I'm going to do. And we have to decide which one of all of these beautiful yellow inspired jelly prints are we going to use for our collage page now with the yellow ones i think i'm going to do two pages because i printed so many jelly prints that i just can't decide which ones i want to use i'm loving this one this one's actually a ghost print i kept printing off the gel plate and got right down to messy ghost print love it i just love it I'm also loving this one, which was the brilliant idea um, before I finished printing, to print it onto this fabulous, beautiful Chinese rice paper with the glorious characters and stamps on it. I think that turned out glorious. So what am I going to do? I think I'll put the ghost print on there and we'll add something else to it. And we might put that there. I'm not sure which way. Do we want to go that way? Or do we want to go up that way? 
Oh man, I think I'm liking it that way. And then I could perhaps put some of this gold at the bottom. That was another ghost print that I was pulling. Yeah, I think I'll do that. The prints turned out so well, much better than I expected. And isn't it just so easy doing the ink blot? Oh my gosh, right now I'm completely obsessed with the ink blots. I've been really experimenting with uh, how well they pull up and the ghost prints. The ghost prints look absolutely amazing. The more you print the same shape, the less and less paint it has on it. And the ghost prints are just amazing. So let's put that on the edge like that. Tuck that in there. Loving that shape. Loving those beautiful stamps. And that faint little characters in the background. That's going to work. And then we'll put some of the gold down the bottom and then decide what we might want to add to it from there. That's the plan, Stan. Now I'm going to glue all this down. And while I'm gluing all this down, I'm going to tell you about this month's fabulous inspiration packs. Each pack is jammed full with handmade and textured papers and every one is unique and only available on Patreon. So come and join me on Patreon and you can receive one of these fabulous inspiration packs each month from my studio to yours to help you jumpstart your creativity, to add elements to your own artwork and basically just to have a whole lot of fun. <laughs> And just like that, they're all glued on. <laughs> now, who would have thought I would do two yellow pages? Not me. I wouldn't have guessed that, not in a fit. But they look so good, and I took so many prints, basically. I just had to use them. Don't they look fabulous? Now, we want something dramatic for down there. What about if I pulled in some of those black circles again now that I've got my lovely gold paper down what the heck uh, we could put some of those on there yes I really do like that idea let's do that for down here on there or on the edge not sure not sure maybe on there okay uh, let's put that down there and then I don't think that this page really needs anything else I love these characters coming through behind and these stamps look fabulous my beautiful ink blot is a great shape. It suits the style and design. So I might just leave it alone and put these beautiful bronze circles on the black down there like the other page. And then this one's going to need something for sure. Of course, I did buy copious other things from um, my China visit. These papers are rather beautiful, don't you think? I do think that, look, they've got holes. I don't know why. <laughs> they've got burn, burn holes in them, maybe. <laughs> anyway, I'm thinking I could put one of these on. And then if I choose one of the ones with a burn hole, which is hilarious to me. Um, which one, which one? Don't know. They're all beautiful. Doesn't really matter, does it? Maybe that one. Then I think I could use one of these beautiful papers. Yes, I know the papers are endless. Maybe I just want this piece. That could work too. Because this one's a bit big and it's taking up so much space. And I love the background here with my jelly print. So I'm thinking, what about if I just use this piece now I'm tearing it because I like the torn edge way better I don't so we use a piece of this yes I like this piece it could go right there and then we're going to find something else put with it right let's do that 
So this time I decided I'm going to run my beautiful bronze circle off the page, which will get chopped there and just leaving a half on there just because I want to. <laughs> Always like to do things a little different. That looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Right, so this one's going on there. And then I'm going to have a rummage in my red scrap bag to see what beautiful focal point I want to add to that little piece on there. Righto, let's go have a look. So many options, but I've settled on this piece. Now, this is actually a mask from PM Artist Studio, and I've dropped alcohol ink on it to make it a beautiful and amazing collage element. <laughs> Love doing that, but because I do like to have multiple layers and lots of texture, I'm going to put this little sneaky bit of the black Agoura lace on there as well because I just love it. I love the fibers, I love the textures, I love the multiple layers. So that's going on there. And then we're going to put this beautiful collage element on as well. Yay! Something like that. Ta-da! What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I'm liking it. Stick. <laughs> I'm just going to have to hold it for a few seconds. Beautiful. What about we finish off with my beautiful stamps and some stamp mud. I reckon they'd look really good just there. Just there. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> I think it'll be just awesome. Oops. Little bit of stamp mud. Ta-da! Beautiful. Oh, yes! That looks glorious. Loving it. Ta-da! Beautiful. Oh man, stick! <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep my finger on that a little bit longer, but I'm pretty happy with these yellow pages. Way happier than I expected I would be. The prints turned out glorious. The collages look great. I'm gonna have to hold this for a few seconds more, maybe a whole minute until it dries. But they're looking beautiful, loving it. Just loving it. So you'll have to join me in the next video and we'll continue with the fabulous color spectrum of our 100 days of collage. So we did today, we did red, orange and yellow. The next video will be green, blue, indigo, and violet. I know, right? Intense colors. <laughs> and we're going to continue with the beautiful Chinese influence. Oh, now it's sticking. Because I just have so many fabulous textures and papers, and it's all very exciting. I only got back two days ago from Shanghai. Yippee! I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'm going to give you a close-up once this dries and my finger can be removed from this spot. <laughs> and I hope you join me again next time. Yay! Thanks for joining me today. I truly love making in blots. I just want to keep finding the next shape. It's so much fun. <laughs>
<laughs> only a little addictive. <laughs> now, don't forget, if you're looking for more info and discount codes, check out the links in the description under the video, and I'll leave you with the playlist for 100 days of collage in case you've missed any of the episodes. So join me next time in the studio. Yay! Yeah.